afternoon to you all. Uh, just give a quick sound check, please. One, two, three, four, five. Bring this down a bit. Just wait for a few more of you to uh, to arrive on the stream. to Steve we've got a bit of a bit of latency today by the looks of it um, yeah hi to Steve hope you're well uh, and image as well hope you're well just a uh, sort of ad hoc live stream for you today just to show uh, a few of the bits that are going onto the uh, used equip equipment listing so a lot of you've been saying oh you know I can't afford the five thousand pound radio etc you know let's have some little little bits and bobs for the shack that we might need so uh Managed to get a few bits in and uh, sort of reasonably price anything from sort of I think the cheapest bit actually is about two pounds um, going up to uh, around about 100 pounds or so. So I've got a few items as I said, we'll just wait for a few others to come into the stream. If you've got any questions whilst you're watching, by all means, pop them into the chat and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, audio is a bit low and lagging. Yeah, I thought that is it. There is a bit of lag some reason we have got a lot going on um, let me see if I can get the audio up for you a bit oh hopefully that's that's a bit better now had a bit of a, a bit of a move around and every everything's been moved basically um, on the little live booth so hopefully that's better for you uh, hi to Andy as well how you doing and Neil and Ray that's good said so see if, uh, if anyone else has a day off today or uh, <laughs> it's having a sneaky watch at work and then we we'll start going through uh, a few of the products for you do, 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 do. let's have a look so there we go so uh, uh andy's there steve got ray enrich as well hi to ian as well watching from zl land trust all as well Right, I think it is, it's very laggy, isn't it? Um, rather than coming back on again, I'm not too sure what we can do, but uh, we'll roll with it. If it gets too bad, obviously, we're, uh, we'll judge it as we go along. Let's, let's see what happens. Okay, so as I said, got a few little uh, used items in for you and all reasonably priced. So I'll start it off. For those of you with a classic Yesu radio, so maybe you've got a nice little FT101 etc, or an FT1, you've lost your microphone, or you're, you're doing a bit of a rebuild and you need a microphone, then we have got one of these in. So apologies if the hands are dirty today as well, I've been going through so, so much uh, used equipment and boxes today, I've got, still got a load to do actually, so I'll take a break from it. So one of these uh, microphones, now there probably is a model number, but again, I've forgotten to bring my glasses. So there you go, so that focuses in. There we go, Japanese made, in very good condition actually considering the age. Got a slight little, uh, well, it's a bit of blue tack where I had the sticker actually. Uh, so yep, so top's lovely as well. And that comes with original cable and the four pin plug as standard so what do we want for that 15 pounds so as I said they're becoming hard to, uh, to find nowadays especially with uh, all of the rallies not being sort of hosted on a regular basis but if you need one and you're doing up your old Yesu there's one live on the website as we speak if you go to the used equipment page which is really easy to do so get this to work come on all right, we go over to the web, obviously hamradio.co.uk, and then just click on latest used and scroll down. And there you go, and there we go. So, yep, still live, and you can tell it's still live because you've got the add to cart button there. If that's grayed out, it means it's gone. So, as I always say, if you see it and you want it, 
just purchase it straight away click on it and get it bought and obviously we can either post out to you or you can come and visit us in store not a problem to come and pick it up all right let's click back over to uh, to me all right let's see if we've got any questions there we go that's a, that's a typical one from uh, from Adam thank you Adam appreciate that <laughs> right also going back a bit FH1 remote control keypad now let's see if the uh, the memory works with this one I think these are for FT 1000s um, someone will probably put me in place and say no it's for another radio but um, I'm pretty certain this was for the 1000 and I've taken it out of the box so you can see it there we go so if you've got an FTDX 10 or a 101 or a DX5000 you'll know about the FH2 this is the uh, predecessor to that beautiful condition little three and a half mil plug on there there we go and fully boxed and again £49 so I did a little price check on these and the only other one I could find online was around £69 so good saving on that one under £50 and again really hard to come by this one absolutely beautiful and if you want to put it back on still got the membrane there as well so pop that over for you there we go so another little bargain for you also got a whole microphone got a couple of radios bulk at the price of a new lead we've got I'm gonna leave that stuck on there actually a Yesu CC1 XLR Y8 there we go 25 pounds new price on these closer to 40 pounds so that's the three pin balance XLR into an eight pin Yesu mic uh, connector so again up on the website and live as we speak okay, let's just clear this from here now every shack should have one and let's bear with me a second yeah you okay then yeah, yeah no problem yeah. oh that's fine yeah yeah sure sure play away <laughs> okay so uh, as i said every shack needs one of these which is a little let's take that slip off from there little revex dummy load again from the same guy PL259 100 watts peak and I think it's 15 or 20 watts as a uh, continuous on there as well nice little size actually for a 100 watt dummy load and again with it being revex these are quite expensive so 20 pounds for this one so really good for your shack if you don't have one of these if you're a foundation license holder etc and you need one that's a good buy it's kind of along the price of uh, some of the Chinese branded ones so it's really worth getting the old Revex one uh, again with Hull if you've got a headset and you need another lead then we've got AD-1-I8 which is the icon variant there we go so again 8 pin and then your sockets on the other side for connecting to the radio etc right moving on we have a Kenwood SP 41 nice little mobile speaker now th there's not many of these little speakers made by the manufacturers now so when you see these old ones come up you know it's worth getting if you are operating mobile obviously you don't need to have a Kenwood radio to, to put this in uh, it comes with a mono plug three and a half mil and it's very strange yeah just saying on the, the camera it's actually picking up the silver bits here but um, it's not actually it looks a lot better in the flesh than it does on camera so <laughs> so this one bargain price 
10 pounds. We'll be putting the uh, the stalls out of business at the rallies. All right, moving on from there. If you've got a, I think THF7 for example, then we've got a Kenwood PG3J. And if you're not too sure what that is, I'll get it out for you. All fully boxed, in fact, as if it's brand new. So whether the guy actually used it or not, I'm not too sure. But it's basically the filtered cigar lighter powers. Lead with the very small plug on the end. Or connector. And price on this one. When they were new, they were £30 plus. So this one is £25. Okay. Moving on. Because you're getting me to rush. Ah. Hello to uh, to Microham as well. Imrich from Slovakia. Uh, out to uh, Ed as well. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hi to uh, hi to Alan. Right, got a few of these. And you've seen these before because I normally do these on a on a Saturday live because I just think they're really really good value. CG dash PW one hundred DC distribution board. I think we've got three of these still available on the used section. Again, really good condition. It's cleaned up really well. And as you can see, let me get that right there. Oh, I always, always get that the wrong way around. Um, you've got your input to the side there. Outputs on the top, all fused outputs as well. They just use the uh, the carb blade type fuses. And uh, tidy your shack up with one of these. Price on these is going to be. Twenty pounds. So I've got three of those, so worth grabbing hold of. Right, give me a second because I need to stand up to get some of the other bits. I'm running out of desk space. Okay, sorry about that. You can tell it is live. Still have to do a bit of my job, <laughs> even though this is as well. Right, uh, hi to Mark quickly. And hi to uh, Buzzner 12. Is the ASU uh, VR receiver still available for the 8500? That's those beautiful used uh, receivers that Martin showed last week on the video basically unused. Uh, let's have a quick look for you because I can't remember. Uh, bup, 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 bup. I know stuff went very quickly. I think the VR5000 may still be available but let's have a quick look. Uh, no, I think we're going to be out of luck here. I think we're out of luck. No, nope, they've gone. Sorry about that. They did sell. I had a feeling that they went quite quick. I know the, uh, I know the eighty five hundred went pretty quick, and the DSP unit went very, very quick. Someone grabbed that. That was very rare. Right. Let's get back onto some of these used uh, bits of equipment. So, one of these is sold already this morning, which is one of these. Basically, a Yesu. SD13, so perfect for your Yesu handhelds. And price on this one, £10. So, very good saving on that. And again, as new condition, so I'm not too sure how he's used that one. Now, this one's a bit strange, this one. I won't get it out of the, uh, the packaging. But K1 
came across this unopened and I know someone's got an 847 because we've sold a few lately um, one of these it's a Yesu FT847 quick setup guide which has been laminated there you go and you can pop this up in your shack above your 847 and as you can see you can literally go for all your operating modes and functions straight off of this laminate which is great and this is probably one of the cheapest items or best value items we've ever sold two pounds so when you're ordering your new radio to a, a company or 847 just add that to the basket and away you go um, let's have a look Hi to Michael, um, he's asking what's the best cheap marine band handheld portable radio? Uh, basically take a look at the ICOM range. Um, it all depends on what functions you need. Uh, so I'd say take a look at the ICOM range, the ICOM radios you, you can rely on and obviously in the situation you're going to be using them in, that's what you want to do. So yeah, look on the website, have a look at our ICOM range or by all means give one of the guys a call here. It's no problem. Uh, Adam says, Icom ICT-10, is it going to be available and how much? I don't know. I don't know. That's that's the truth. Um, when we get the news from Icom, obviously it will go live on the website or on one of the uh, the videos to stream straight away. Okay. Uh, David's watching. Everyone uh, be careful. Hey, Dave. How you doing? Right. Moving across. Let's get through some more of these because I've got to book another load in. Uh now, one of the brands that we sold for quite a while, which was the Sermon range of products. Now, these are quite nice. A little mag mount with the very thin cable. This is the K706. Now, what I liked about this was, if you're, you're one of those, it's PL259, by the way, on this. If you're one of those uh, guys or gals that likes to leave their mag mount on, and when it starts raining, maybe pop indoors, this one actually comes with, you can see that there, a little flip lid on it so you can flip it over make sure no water gets down the uh, the socket so price on this 10 pounds easy as that again unused even though it is used so that's worth grabbing okay next up I'm sure one of these are sold already but <laughs> I've got two here anyway is pop, 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 pop. Kenwood PG 4Z or Z depending on uh, where you're watching from. Oh, bear with me a second because I've got uh, bits and bobs everywhere here. PG 4Z. Now, if you're wondering what this is, I'm going to put it apart. It's basically a, a panel extension kit. About four meters or so in length and again this one is as new so what we like to do here it has come in used we're not going to book it back into stock even though we could probably, probably get away with that being brand new and we it at a discounted price so you've got your cables all of your connecting sockets there we go for microphone etc head unit uh, even got your uh, ferrite in there and your instructions so there we go I'm gonna have a look so PG4Z even though I'm saying it now PG4Z um, it's practicing for when we go to Dayton that's what it is right I'm pretty certain although I'm gonna check I'm pretty certain that this will work with a 480 uh, I will have a look at that and update the website so that you know for certain um, on the the use listing. So price for these, I can tell you that they're normally sixty pounds retail. Uh, Thirty nine pounds. As I said, I've got two of these. Although check the website because I'm pretty pretty sure I saw an order come through for one of those. All right, let's move that across. Oh, 
Hi to Kenneth as well. Hope you're well. Right. Uh, we saw the FH1 that I showed you earlier. Or some of the earlier Yesus. Can you guess what we got coming up? FH2. So ideal for your 101s, DX10s, uh, FTDX5000, uh, FTDX3000, 1200 I think as well with these. Uh, this one doesn't have a box, but again, really good condition and ready to go. Price on this one. Now these are current, so uh, let's check the current price on these. FH2. So new price on these is uh, 34.95, 25 pounds. So 10 pounds saving if you want an FH2. All right, going back in time. Going way back in time. This is uh, more Mr. Lynch's era. Mountain bracket. I see. MB5. Now, I do have to bring the details up on these. So, MB5. I've been reliably informed is a mobile bracket for uh, an ICR75, IC78, uh, 718, I believe, and maybe even a 910. I think that fits, but again, really good condition. Let's get it open. And you've got There, you've got your screws. Now, you will need two of these, basically. So you're going to need two nuts, because there seems to be two nuts missing. But the actual, uh, the actual bracket itself, as you can see, it's in really good condition. And uh, probably trying to find one of these now is probably not an impossible. So price on this one. Twenty pounds. So already we've got you know two or three hundred pounds worth of uh, used equipment there, all sort of sub fifty pounds. Um, so you, you can't say to us that we haven't given it, done a bargain for you again, right? Uh, whole tri mount. Now I'm pretty certain this one isn't used because it's still hanging in the bag. Yes, it's poked itself out, but you've got your standard. Uh, Fitting for the boom on the side there, and basically, let's see if you can see that. That's what you can do with it. So you can have your DX microphone, you can have your Ragtube microphone, and you can have your 11 meter microphone as well, all set up with your delays, etc. Now, price £20.95 new, which, uh, which this is basically £10. Again, if you need it, be quick on the buttons or quickly ring up the store. Right, uh, got this um, branded, I think we'll say, branded uh, QS300. So we're just, uh, that's the one I want, isn't it? 10 pounds, as you can see from the price already. Don't do any free advertising. Um, basically adjustable desk holder, QS300. And put your little handheld in there, and it's got little uh, connections on the back so you can pop your coax, etc., or your uh, DC leads through the back. Again, in the box, unopened, it's got the uh, you can see through there BNC to SO239. Great if you want to pop your handheld on your work desk, etc., and then connect it to a main antenna, right. They were quite, they were quite pricey actually when they came out. Uh, I have to take a look at Nevada's website, I think, and uh, I think I think that they're part of the same company. We'll, uh, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. Uh, staying in the past, one of these. Now I've never seen one of these in all my years here, because it was before my time. I'm gonna creep this one up. An Icom shoulder strap. So, basically shoulder strap for 
an old ICOM transceiver. Brand new in the box. That's got to be rare. That's got to be rare. Let's take one out so you can see it. There we go. Uh, oh my gosh, that is quality actually. So branded with the ICOM logo. And then got all your clips for adjusting it. Obviously you could use this for something else nowadays, that's not a problem. Uh, little ringlets on there, which I've just pulled off, so I'll put that back on in a minute. Um, little clips, and these lovely little leather buckles, look at that. Now, I said these are rare, however, I've got two. And they're only £5 each. So, again, if you want that, again, it's pretty, pretty handy, you could mod modify that for something else. And uh, that may come in handy for you. So something different, something a little bit different for when you go to the rallies. Maybe pop your uh, hip flask on there. All right, let's uh, go for a couple of um, messages just before we get through to the last bits. Put that back in there. That is really well constructed. I'll tell you, that leather bit is beautiful. So if you like a bit of leather. Worth grabbing hold of. Okay. Put that into there. Alright. Uh, okay, questions wise. Let's have a look. What have we got? What have we got? Let's work way down. Uh, hi to the Port Elizabeth Amateur Radio Channel. How you doing? This is 2DL. Uh, hi to Surge as well. How much is the loop behind me? So that would be the baby loop. Obviously it depends where, where you are and whether you're paying uh, the VAT on it, etc. and your import duties. So baby loop at the moment is uh, 14 49 um, 40 meters through to 10. Um, there we go. Do you know that <laughs> That, that did confuse me because I was looking and I was thinking I won't mention the name because I'm not sure how to pronounce that and then I realised it was my name so uh, thank you <laughs> uh, hi to Alan as well MM7DXC um, hi to Phil as well uh, Phil says he's in the USA if you buy an older radio from us will it work in the States yes it will um, you can ask for wideband modification and then that will obviously open up normally if it's a HF radio normally from it's tuning range basically so you kind of DC to 30 megs and it should be fine but just check with his first feel um, but yeah there, there should be no issues should be no issues okay uh, got Handalorian there as well hope you're doing well and In saying, uh, do we have a tuning knob for the Flex 3000 or an equivalent that we sell? Yeah, in the box that I'm booking in here, and at the moment, there's two Flex control knobs, uh, USB control knobs, so that'll work really well. And also, uh, we've got the Shuttle Express wheels as well, which are really good. So if I bring that up on the, uh, bear me a second, I'll bring that up on the, the page for you. So Shuttle Express. Okay, so quickly flip that over for you. There we go. So one of these will work perfectly well. So all of these buttons that you can see around the side, I'll click on there. So yeah, these buttons here, uh, you can program to whatever you're using on your radio and whatever function you want to use. So if you want one as a PTT, for example, you might want one for, for tuning, then you can just program these straight through and obviously VFO on your main part there. But yeah, I've got a, a couple of the uh, the actual flex zone brand controls which will be going on uh probably oh, I say by I say by the weekend but <laughs> it depends uh, depends if i can get through the box quick enough and we can get them tested so again with the testing don't forget we test all of our equipment and uh, on standard it's normally three months warranty on some of the newer radios um if it's not a yesu then we can carry across the uh the warranty on it so you can always get yourself a good bargain uh, regarding radios coming in, I've got a 890, TS890, camera TS890 upstairs, I've got a 990 coming in, I've got a 101D, 101MP, um, 
fact, it's got two 101 MPs, I think, coming in. Um, Linear-wise, there's a Quadra, which may be making an appearance very soon. Uh, we're just testing that. Uh, Yaesu FTDX 5000, Flex 6600M, uh, which will be a great save in no doubt you'll probably save sort of four figures on that buying use. Um, I've got some W2IHY um, EQ kits and packages which I'm going to be putting out so uh, I think there's two or three of those that I've bought in and again some microphones, a few Morse keys, got some Kent keys, got some Begali keys, uh, I've got a nice little Begali uh, CW machine which will be going on that's that's worth looking online to see what they do. And Back to the used, very quick one now, ICBCO7, which is basically for an RX7, I believe. And it is basically your battery charger. So again, all boxed, as new. Bit of a hoarder, bit of a hoarding stash, this one. So everything seems to be boxed and new, which is really great. And price on this one? Ten pounds. There we go. And I think that's done. I've got one more bit. I think. Yep. Just one more. Uh, one more piece from this until we get the rest of it on. You know, the shop's quite full at the moment, so we'll have to cut it short very soon. Um, again, bagged, brand new. Uh, this one's a little bit more expensive, but still under £100. Uh, we've got a MB1B basic super antenna. As I said, that's all uh, all complete. So you've got telescopic whip, your main slider, and the small mast part of it there. So if you've already got something you can mount this on, maybe you've got a 3 x mag mount, for example, you want to pop it on if you're a sort of static mobile. Um, or if you set up one of the ATAS brackets with a 3 8 fitting, then these are ideal. And look, that's the full picture of it there as to what you're getting. Uh, 170 pounds these were when they were new. This one is obviously still new, so 99 pounds. So under 100 pounds for a nice little HF portable antenna solution for you. Right. I think that's it. So we'll go through the questions uh, before I leave you. And uh, let's go. Bop, 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 bop. Do we recommend putting RF chokes on a 49 to 1? Don't see why not. Doesn't hurt it. So, yep, go for that. Um, oh, that's worked my way down. Uh, high, <laughs> high deterrence. Uh, you can re watch it. Remember, with any of our videos, you can always log back onto mlands.tv and rewatch everything. So that's not a problem. Uh, what HT antennas do you recommend for an IC705? All depends on what band you want to operate. So obviously, if you're just going to be operating VHF, UHF, there's plenty of diamond antennas around. Um, nice sort of whippy antennas you can use, or a good telescopic if you're out and about. Uh, on the HF side of it, obviously, Wonder Wand, great antenna to use with it. Uh, there's some good little Comet kits. If you look on online, we've got a Comet. I can never remember the part number. We've got a, a Comet multi antenna, which basically comes with all the coils, etc. So you can go multi band on HF as well. Um, Gas says, I think you need a boost wine gums. I'm, I'm going to come for the sweeties. Don't worry. I'll be down for the sweeties in a moment. Uh, hello, Jonathan. How you doing? Trust all is well little plug for Jonathan that used to work here don't forget to check out M0JSX on YouTube get subscribing if you haven't as well as subscribing to us as usual okay uh, yeah it's, it's obviously Jonathan's uh, got a job where he works from home now or so he says working from home obviously watching YouTube uh, the straps are sold unbelievable look at that look at that Right, um, any more, any more, any more? Hi to Trevor, hope you're well. Kenneth says he can't see the straps. You know why, Ken? Because they've sold. That was quick. Um, hi to Bruce, hope you're well, Bruce. 
And he's still there. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Hi to uh, ZS2DL. Hi to Borax TV as well, SP2KRM. Thank you. So I'll take it you've come into the store. I'll tell you what, we've had really good propagation in the store this week, actually. Um, so, so far this week, we've had uh, Mauritius. So, that kicked off pretty well. Uh, one ZL, two VKs. Um, I think we've got Victor Uniform as well at the moment. So, yeah, we've had a, a lot of DX coming into the store to shop. So, don't forget, if you are watching worldwide and you decide that you're going to be visiting the UK for whatever reason, we're only sort of 10 or 15 minutes from Heathrow Airport. Or if you're in central London, you can just jump on a tube. Then get yourself to, I think it's Liverpool Street, and then straight down to Stain Station, and it's a two minute walk. And, you know, and you're more than welcome, as Martin says, the, the coffee is on the go most of the time. Um, a bit of information from David there, so it will help you with the 49 to 1. Uh, if you've got questions regarding 49 to 1 balance, speak to Richard, he is our 49 to 1 expert. Right. Uh, I wonder where he was. Hi, you Jimbo. Hope you're well. Yeah, a little bit late. You are a little bit late. Okay. Uh, bop, 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 bop. I think that's all of the questions for now. Uh, yep, that's all I can see coming through at the moment. Hi to Brian. Hi to Mick. Uh, give the guys a call at the store, Mick. Um, Again, ask for Richard, and we can go through that with you and find a solution for you. Uh, the more information we can find regarding your garden, we can then better place the right antenna for you. It's all very well just saying, yeah, just string up a wire or whatever, or stick a vertical up. This is perfect. This is what I use. Um, we'll go through your situation and see what we can do for you. You never know. You might be able to get a couple up. Uh, hi to Stephen. Says the audio is low. Turn it up a little bit. Um... Terence says he's never owned any Icon stuff. Did have a mug, but his daughter broke it last week. I don't have any Icon mugs. If I do get some more, then we'll do another competition and we'll send some stuff out. And hopefully everyone's received their prizes. If you haven't received your prizes from the Marconi contest, um, then give me a shout. I believe there's just one name I couldn't find, which I think is Andrew with the surname Lynch. Should have been able to find him. Um, do we ever sell off any of the service department reject repairs? Um, no, really, to be honest with you. It's very hard for us to retell out anything that's broken because the law kind of says we have to supply a warranty, basically, with, with the stuff that we sell. So it'd be a bit hard for us to supply a warranty with a radio that doesn't work. Yes, I know other dealers may do it, but, you know, officially we shouldn't be doing it, so hence we don't do it. Uh, we do have buyers which do buy equipment from used equipment, so people that do... Uh, rallies etc do purchase stuff from us so you know from time to time if you want to buy some stuff and you just want to buy it as a miscellaneous lot then you're more than welcome to give us a call but obviously with no warranties etc um, all right Mick says thank you no problem Mick and Adam as well right if you've not got anything else more to say I'm gonna leave it there thank you for this uh, sort of ad hoc live stream i just wanted to show you some of these used bits of used equipment just to say that you know there are some bargains out there and uh, <laughs> when they do come on we do listen but they do go very quick as you've seen because a lot of this stuff has gone already whilst we've been doing the chat anyway take care don't forget the uh, something for the weekend video will be live uh, on friday for the mail out if you haven't subscribed to the mail outs you can do so via the website hamradio.co.uk uh, I believe it's Gary this week doing a review on a Yesu mobile radio. Uh, 